to Win Souls TV. This is your host, Jeff Thomas. And today we are going to be talking about rejoicing in the small things. But before I begin that, I will tell you, and this is a little off topic, guys. And this is my second time recording this video because my memory card, the one right before this one, uh, was full and my camera just stopped recording. So, anyway, uh, this is the spoil of war. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, you know, lately I've been in contact with ministers, pastors of, uh, you know, relatively big name podcasts and TV shows and stuff. And I will tell you guys, before I begin this, I just have to say this. Be very careful uh, as to who you follow and who you listen to in the body of Christ, because some of the big name ministers and pastors that I just thought were so like great that I like really looked up to <laughs> they are not who you think they are when you talk to them on the phone or when you uh, are messaging them back and forth on email um, some of these people do not really display the the character of Christ and I will tell you I mean there there have been times where they're I mean really just rude um, language that you wouldn't even imagine being used here you know and so I'll just say this use discernment in who you follow use discernment in pastors and ministers that are um, that that you just following okay ask the Lord to show you who they really are and because if they're not really living it or even trying to live the body of Christ I understand that nobody is perfect nobody is perfect but Jesus but I will say this that if they're not even trying to live that way then where are they leading you anyway so back to the topic the topic for today is rejoicing in the small things so we're gonna jump into Zechariah 410 it says do not despise these small beginnings for the Lord rejoices to see the the work begin to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand. And in parentheses, it says the lamps represent the eyes of the Lord that search all around the world. Now, what does that mean? I'm not going to get too far in depth. Basically, it is just saying, hey, whenever you begin something small, especially if the Lord has led you to those things, especially if the Lord has already told you the outcome and you're just beginning Look, don't worry about whether it starts off and, you know, it's just immediately people are just drawn to it and and they rejoice in it and, they, and you get all this feedback in terms of people being blessed and this, that and the other. Even if it's just 10 people watching you, even if it's just one person you're ministering to rejoice in those small things because the Lord is planting a seed that will literally grow into the outcome that you would that that he has already told you is going to be big okay so perfect example is me and this YouTube channel I have struggled with these videos lately matter of fact like midway through last year and almost all of this year I have been kind of on and off I haven't been consistent like I was most of uh, 2019 and midway through 2020 uh, this has been a rough time period for me. I finally slowly but surely getting into a schedule that I can actually make. It's five o'clock in the morning uh, right now. So I, <laughs> I, I, I realized lately that I am a morning person. So I had to I had to learn how to schedule all of this stuff and get all of it done every single day. And and so the Lord has been taking me, you know, through through learning myself, learning him, learning how I can literally, you know, soak up all of the time that he has permitted for every perfect day that he has made every day. And so so with that time, you know, you don't want to waste it. And um, there there were times where I was just like, man, you know, there's really only one video in on my whole channel that that has really, really high views, you know, and. I felt kind of embarrassed about that. You know, I was just like, man, you know, ain't nobody really watching 
all of the rest of the stuff that I'm, I'm putting all of this time into making and creating and and doing all of this stuff and, and being really creative in, in my uh, in my breakdown of like and in my breakdown of what I feel like it means. And also, you know, reaching out to theologists and all of this stuff to, to really find out the true understanding of what some of these things mean and, and going in depth into my study Bible and, and, you know, just to deliver one video and it only gets like 20 views. But I had to learn to look, rejoice in these small things, even though I'm bumbling and I'm stumbling and I'm, you know, it feels like I'm, I'm, I'm not making that much of an impact. Um regardless of whatever it is i'm gonna keep going you bend but you never break okay my football coach used to always say that you bend but you never break you never ever quit because he is developing the character necessary within you to be able to fulfill the thing that he wants you to fulfill that facet of himself that really can be expressed through you and you never know that it could be even if your ministry is just discipleship in Walmart, you know, you could be ministering to somebody and then somebody in the next aisle could be hearing you while they're looking for, I don't know, baby wipes or something. And literally they could be hearing you ministering to somebody else and you can be used to deliver a message that they have been praying for the, this entire time. You never know who's watching you. You never know who's listening to you. You never know what the body of Christ can do, you know what I'm saying? You never know what the Holy Spirit can do through you. So do not stop because this time period is necessary to develop that character to, to, for the fruit that is necessary for you to build that tree at the end of the road. Okay. So, so with that said, you know, we have to continue to go. We have to pers persevere in order to develop, to, to develop that that character. And I, I had to realize that there was, it's necessary to have fun in the process, not necessarily doing it for views or, and not necessarily doing it to be seen a certain way and not necessarily doing it, whatever, but just doing it because you love Christ and you just want to please him. And with that, it's just kind of like, you don't, it doesn't matter about the views. It doesn't matter about who's listening to you. It doesn't matter, whatever. You're doing it not for yourself, but you're just doing it for God. And he will take that and he will blow up things that you never even thought could even happen in your life. You know, just because the Lord is leading you in a certain direction doesn't mean that it's going to happen quickly. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen quickly. Every little step of faith that we take is literally we're, we're stepping up a staircase to the place where we're able to help people that are on lower steps than us. But if we never take those necessary bold steps of faith, how are we ever going to be able to help those that are on steps below us or those that are um, struggling in their walk with Christ? You know, we um, we we we're in a place where a lot of us would like to bring people alongside us, but it's best to get yourself in a place with the Lord higher so that you know how to navigate that forest that this person just can't see through, you know? And so with that said, I hope it's a blessing to you. Oh, and by the way, before I get off, rejoice in the small things. And I will tell you that this book right here, this is my book. This is, you know, uh, this is my book called Running the Race, A Call to Action and Journey of Growth with the Lord. This is, you know, what the Lord has led me to write. Um, it hasn't really been getting that much attention because I don't advertise it very much. I don't really talk about, you know, the products that I've created. And the Lord wanted me to literally start talking about these things more. And I think that that's necessary. I just didn't necessarily want to be one of those ministers that constantly talking about, oh, yeah, well, go and buy this and the Lord going to bless you. And and it's just like, are you about money? Or are you are you about really spreading the body of Christ? You know what I'm saying? You you really about growing the body of Christ or you just want to you just want to make some money? Because I just felt like a lot of pastors and ministers, they talk about their products so much that it's just like. 
Yeah, but now you've turned your, your church and your ministry into a business. And there is, don't get me wrong, there is a business side to ministry, especially if that's your livelihood. If that's how you're making your money. But there's also a way to go about that, you know. And I, I just wanted to talk about this book because this is very real, is very live, is very open and honest and how I got set free from porn and masturbation and how I got to this place of creating this 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 YouTube channel and places of leadership where I felt like I was fully incapable of of doing that but literally just following the 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 instructions outlined in the word the Lord has really blessed me and I'm I'm actually on the brink of tears right now uh, while I'm talking, but the Lord has really brought me to a place where it's like I wouldn't have imagined that I would ever be. I didn't really want a relationship with the Lord. And uh, and now it's just like I, I can't live my life without him. <clears throat> so with that said, I love you guys. Uh, this book will be free on Black Friday um, and probably Thanksgiving as well. So. Be on the lookout for that, and I'll remind you guys again. You guys be blessed. Love you guys. Have a good one.